Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We're headed out this morning, this is my outfit. I have this navy blue sweater, I have this navy blue shirt. I love it because it's got fancy sleeves. And I have these, I have these flare bottom pants that I love so much. It's literally the crack of dawn, the crack of actual dawn, and we're headed out. Why? Because we have family that live out of town and sometimes you just gotta be with them, spend time with them. All right. The dogs of the day. <laughs> Sam and I are both really like funny about our own dogs. I take my dog where I go places. He takes his dog when he goes places. All right, Sam, before we get down to the goat bar, tell me how was the horses, how were the horses last night? Did you put the little clip up so put that- the little clip up for storm stall. So that nobody could get them out of that stall. That's right, and I put the camera onto the <laughs> stall area, but this morning when I walked in, storm was out again. <laughs> So we have an escapee. Has Storm ever escaped before we got Lady? No. Not once? No. Nope. Oh, either. Why don't you put Storm in her stall? Switch the stalls either, around. Either he learned. Switch the stalls tonight. Let's switch the stalls and see what happens. He didn't want to do that. Why? Why, why, why? Because that's Storm's stall. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, my family is so sentimental. And, and, and no wonder where Gabby gets does, it from. The lady's gonna go out and make more trouble. Yeah, the lady will be more trouble, but. Uh, so like Gabby and Sam won't let Storm go in any other stall because he's the uh, king horse on this farm and heaven forbid he lose his lovely stall. It's so tall, like it's so long and he loves that stall. But his old stall was the middle one. But his old stall, when we had Chino, Chino had the good stall. And then, so he could go back to it just to try it out, but Gabby would throw a fit if Lady got store her amazing stall for her horses, which she loves. Everybody shows love differently, and that's one of the ways that Gabby shows love. No matter where we go, her horses get the best stuff, always. Shoot, I wanted you guys to see them because it makes me happy. To see him in his bed, I gave him more hay last night. I've seen video where the whole stall is full of hay, and that's probably what's gonna, or straw, that's probably what's gonna happen for him this winter. But you fill it all the way up, and then you come in, and then all these pigs pop up from underneath, because they just love to burrow and be warm. But you're going outside today. So yesterday I told you guys we've been having like a lot of problems with our goats the last few days. Like the last, since they got bred, I guess. That's probably the problem. So uh, today I have a solution and not everybody's gonna like this. I feel like a lot of farming is the old fashioned. Like it's, we've done it this way forever. Now why do you wanna try and change it? But I believe that farming as a whole really needs a lot of changing. Because, here, I have to go get more food for you. You can get started. So what I'm doing, get ready for it. It's gonna be different. I'm gonna let all the kind goat and pig out in the mornings and then i'm gonna bring them in like in the middle of the afternoon like two maybe and then i'm gonna let the mean goats out and the reason i'm gonna do this is because i don't want our goats to be living in a toxic environment i don't want anybody to be living in a toxic environment i don't want you guys living in a toxic environment so i'm a firm believer in being happy and the only way you can be happy is when you surround yourself with the people that you get along with. These goats were literally terrified yesterday. I was watching on the camera after I left and all the babies are like standing there terrified and then that one goat, the white goat, would just suddenly go insane. She would chase them all off so I don't want to do that anymore. So for now I want to separate them. I know not everybody has the opportunity to separate all their animals but I'll do whatever it takes to make everybody happy. <laughs> These are our sweetest goats in the world, the absolute world. And I don't want them to be like afraid because they're less dominant. Uh oh, come <laughs> on, you're going the wrong way. Come on, this way. Come on. Come on. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> oh. They are excited. It's so sunny, you guys. I can hardly see anything. That's how Posey gets so fat. She goes, she eats her hay, her grain, and she goes over there and eats whatever they drop. Sadly, it's this goat that's the dominant one that is mean, and she's teaching this goat to get mean, and this goat is our most beloved goat. So, we can't let it happen. So you guys are staying in this morning, ha ha. All right, everybody's getting fresh water. Oh, for any of you guys who don't understand that and think that 
you should just let them figure out the herd dynamics, which I've heard a lot of times. Here's the statistics for you. Oftentimes, when goats are mean to one another, especially goats with horns, they can chase off the, the lesser dominant goat and they can kill their babies. They can make them or reabsorb their babies. So I would never let that happen, like ever. This boy pig, he poops in his stall sometimes. I don't get it. Posey would die before she would ever go to the bathroom in her stall. Like she would die before, like. Even pee, she would never go to the bathroom in her stall, even if she had to wait 24 hours because that happened once. So yeah, I would never let my goats suffer a traumatic injury, like being jabbed so much that their babies are killed. I don't. I just don't believe in fighting your way through things. I believe in finding a kinder way, a gentler way, so that everybody can be happy. So those babies are gonna have a happy morning, and then my son is the one that comes every day when we're out of town. He comes to check on the animals because I do a lot of day checks. I do a lot of checks on these animals. And so he'll come and he'll let the girls, he'll reverse the girls. Like, they'll go in around. Hey! Oh my gosh. What in the world? Suddenly you think you can run to the road? So he'll come and he will switch them around and I'd love to see that. I'm gonna be watching on the camera because <laughs> goats are fun. We are not big pop drinkers, but this is like my favorite drink and you can only get it at Christmas time. Oh, it's so good. You can only get it in the fall, I guess. And everybody in my family likes it. I'm bringing one with me for the road. We are headed off to the big city, you guys. The big city. We only go there like four times a year and it's always exciting. I always tell Sam, okay, if we're gonna go, we're gonna make it good and we're gonna go someplace special. It's funny and that when he's going to his parents, he puts on cologne. You put on I cologne? Put no cologne on. Well, I can smell you. That's my deodorant. Oh. <laughs> well, the one time we go to your parents, you put deodorant on. Yeah, bad things. Anyway, we're all ready to go. We got Sam and I and one kid and not the other kid. She's ghost now. Because we are always be waiting on the Gabby and that's okay. It's okay to be slow. She has a hard time getting up. She's been like that her whole life. She's a sleeping machine. Well, I'm a sleeping machine. Do you know how long I slept last night? How many hours do you think I slept last night? Twelve. Ten. I slept ten hours last night. Trapped and do you know how I feel? Hours. Amazing. I That's the elixir early. of life. What time did you go to bed? Oh, just a little bit after ten. Are you joking? I never go to bed that early. Yeah, I know, and it shows. But do you guys know that that's the elixir of life. That's the fountain of youth. That's what keeps you young. That's what keeps you healthy. That, but that's what prevents you from getting sick. Yes, I know I had a cold recently. It was the first cold in 16 years, though. So it works. You gotta sleep. You gotta get lots of sleep. Sleep. I'm still sick. Yeah, because you are going through this. She's going through this stage where she likes to stay up and play with her friends, hang out with her friends. Sylvie and Sam are different. They always, they've always been sickies. Anyway, we're headed there. We're gonna stop at someplace special. We always stop at someplace special to get something special when we're in Toronto because there are things there that you can't get anywhere else. All right, we are off. We got everybody. We are off to the big city, you guys. I'll show you on the way. We haven't shown it on in this channel for a while. I'll show you how amazing it is there. And we're gonna take you guys along with us. We're gonna go visit Sam's family and for Sam's grandpa's birthday and we're gonna stop at one of Sam's old stomping grounds and it's a good one. But while we're driving there, I want you guys to stop the video and write down below, post, comment down below what you do on long car rides. Sophie forgot her book, so she's not reading. I bring my book, but it's on my phone, so I'm reading a book. Gabby, what do you do? She goes on her phone, is your da data reset today? It should. Yeah, so hopefully she'll have some data. <laughs> the reason Sam and I laugh about her having no data is because has she has a her own phone. Okay, well, I have to use it um, for music. Why can't you download music? Anyways, she has a ton of, of data because she has her own plan. And she doesn't have to share with anybody. It's all her own and she already used it. But you know what? It reset today, so it's not a big deal. Uh, Sylvie, what do you do? She likes to read, but they watch their phone. Sam drives and I read my book. But what do you guys do? Yeah, and I do that sometimes too. She said she last time she crocheted. And sometimes I do that too.
officially hit traffic, you guys. When you're in the big city, it's traffic central. Well, isn't the architecture in, this, in Toronto so beautiful? There's so many old buildings. Like, it's so beautiful. It's like New York. that my girls are learning about the whole man brain thing. How men will drive around for five hours so that they can get a close up a parking spot. Let's see if we got it. We've been circling this place. This is the place of Sam's youth that we all love to go to. Oh no. no. <laughs> the car in front of no. us took it. Oh, two cars took our spot. <laughs> Damn you, two cars. Oh Those my two God. cars just pulled hey. it. We're just doing we're circles. We're just driving in donuts. Round and around and around till Sam finds a parking spot that he likes. And Gabby is having none of it, you guys. <laughs> I'm used to it. I'm used to this kind of man thing. Gabby is not. <laughs> All right, you guys. It's happening. It's happening. That black car right there, it's leaving. It's set. Okay. That gray car. It's blue. Yeah, it looks all different colors. It's a weird it's a color. Oh, there we they're go. leaving, and Sam's gonna scoop up that spot. Let's see if he does it. There's a stop sign. Also a chair. There's a chair. Oh. Let's see. Does he do it? Does he do it? He finally gets a spot. Across the street. With a chair. Across the street. Across the street. With a chair, so we can sit down. The place that we're going is called San Marino Bakery, and it is. A good Italian bakery and this is where we used to buy all of our cakes for every like special religious things so like for Gabby and Sophie's baptisms we bought rum cakes from here oh my gosh they're so good so Sam is hoping to get a rum cake but we're going there now we're gonna show you inside it's so fancy so fancy that we're willing to walk miles for it all right, this is our first time running across a busy road go go <laughs> It's so sunny out, I can't even like. All right, here we go. We're in. It is packed. But here it is, you guys. And we went the wrong way. Holy moly. It's wild. Marble ring cakes. Wow. We get to pick whatever we want. Oh, you guys are going to the bathroom? to pick whatever we want like every italian treat you can think of almond cookies oh, the apple? Mm, they look good you know what these are the cakes i'm so tired of cheap gross cakes from where we live these are nice there's the rum cake just get a, a little one are we getting something written on it good Congratulations, Gabby, on your academic excellence. We're gonna write happy congratulations, Gabby, on your academic excellence. Two months worth. Oh, right. so they got Gabby, they have rock side brownies. You would love those. Okay, look at that, that's so cool. It is a tray of Halloween treats. Halloween cakes. I predicted Gabby was gonna want that rock side brownie and she did. I predict Sam's gonna get cannelloni. What are you getting? Not a cannelloni, that's for sure. Not a cannelloni? Oh. You're getting what? You're getting a chocolate caramel brownie? That's what I'm getting right there, carrot cake. But they have a Nutella cake, chocolate raspberry, they have blueberry cheesecake squares. These are looking good. These are cannolis. I love cannoli. Look at their tiramisu. It comes in a little cup like that. We bought bread because my family is a bread family. Gabby's got treats up there. 
And then Sam's got the mother load. Yeah. It's so crazy busy in there. Like you couldn't even get anything. Like it was forever standing in line and people pushing this like big city life. And we're not used to that. Sam's used to that. But that place used to be a mom, small mom and pop shop that you could just go in, take your time. Just pick, a bike and get a sit. cake. Yeah, Sam used to bike there. But yeah, it's insane now. I'm gonna show you guys what we got though when we get back to the car, but we gotta walk away. <laughs> We had a park fire. Yep. That's what happens. This is where we're missing the van. I can't show you what we got. I'm not gonna lie. I love trips to the big city. I love trips coming here. I love like when we went to the anime convention with Gabby. There's a pet expo I want to go to so badly. I wanted to go before, but we were busy that weekend. And there's a horse sale this weekend. Like the same horse sale that Lady came from. There's a horse sale. We couldn't go because we were coming here. Wait, Sam's, it was this weekend? Yeah, Sam's grandpa has his birthday on such an awkward weekend. <laughs> Just kidding. Wait, the sales horse sale was this weekend? Today. Yeah. Bro. I got people there looking though to see if they see anything good. They have like a lot of tack and stuff there too. Whew, that was exhausting. So this, this is what Sam got. He got a cake, a rum cake. These are what the girls got. Gabby got, Sylvie got the one with the nuts. Gabby got that one. That's the one I would have chosen. That looks so good. And then, that's my cake underneath there, I have a feeling. I got a carrot cake, it's underneath that thing that says Italia. So those are our, one of these is a cake, and one of these is a bunch of treats for Sam's family's house. We're gonna go there now, so I'll show you guys when we get there what's in it. The most important thing that we got today was the bread. Well, how do you say it, Calabrese? Yeah, Calabrese. Calabrese, we buy it when we're at home too. Gabby loves it, Sophie loves it, I love it. It's just really good. I but like it's, the other bread that's at this grocery store. It's like a donut kind of. I like a hard crispy. It's like a donut. It's bread, like a donut I hate bread. regular bread. I hate regular bread. I've just gotten so sick of it. It's gotten so soft and spongy and squishy and it's like eating mush. So I love like a hard crusty bread. So we got bread there. So we're at Sam's grandpa's house. We're visiting him for his birthday before we go to his parents' house for a visit because they live around the corner from each other. But anyway, we brought him a special treat because for his birthday. And remember, Sam's grandpa is like 95 and this little teeny tiny guy who lived in Italy most of his life. Well, half of his life. And now he lives here. Look, he still has tomatoes growing in his garden. This is what he brought for his grandpa. Look at this. No, I bought it at an Italian bakery. Sam's grandpa makes this huge garden. This is like his little fire shed where he barbecues. And it's all of his wood. And then he has this huge garden and he grew all these zucchinis. Oh and we're taking them all home. Yeah, all of them. Do you know why we're taking them? These are so good for chickens. These are gonna feed our chickens. This is his garden. It looks really messy because he has all this wood, but he uses it to for all the vegetables to grow up. To grow up on see look he puts leaves in his garden all these leaves he still has lettuce that's lettuce it's so nice out here and it's november isn't that crazy i also love making zucchini bread i love it that is a zucchini all right we are about to get the mother load of zucchini wowzer now that is a zucchini load those are zucchinis. Right. They're awesome. Hey, I like those. Yeah, a lot. Awesome. Oh, you we can use them. You already got your ones for seeds? Huh? Do you have yours for seeds already? Red, yeah. We're checking for seeds. Yep, that's a good seeds one for good. seeds. Yeah, good. This is, yeah. Good, all right. That's it, you guys. Those are all the zucchini. His grandpa was just telling me that people buy the little teeny tiny dark colored ones at the grocery store for $2 a pound here. And they're not as yummy. Like these ones are yummy. Dad, you can close them. We yeah, love them and our chicken. So we eat some of them. I make, I make zucchini bread with chocolate chips and then we feed them to our chickens. They're so good to deworm your chickens. Like they're a good natural dewormer. And, and the our goats That's can eat that. them. That's rum. And if our goat horses can eat them, we might even try That's that. Rum. We don't ever That's usually they get put in a feed us like 50. Oh, so yum. 
but I love zucchini bread. I hate those little, like the one zucchini that I grew in my garden this year were those little tiny ones. And I was like, wow, they're awful. They're awful. They hardly have any meat in them. Like it's not worth it. And my friend's like, that's all they have. That's all they have. She doesn't even know like these big giant ones that, that Italian people grow. We're at Sam's parents house now and we're gonna take in all the good stuff that we brought. This is all the stuff going home with us. Let's put it on the ground though so it's not in the sun. This is Sam's. This is a mini rum cake. Oh, all right, so like. that's it. All that yummy cannoli. Mm, that yeah, chocolate one looks good. really good. Girls. All right, so Sam's dad always gets us stuff. Let's open this up. Oh, he that finds, <laughs> that's a lot. So they always save us all their egg cartons for our eggs. So here. we'll put the eggs in there. I'll have to give some of these to my friend who has chickens. Yeah, he always gets us pails because we use pails sometimes for feeding. And I need the short one for the pigs. Did you go to the chiropractor? Did you go to the chiropractor? Because you smell like that stuff that they used on me once. It's like this weird stuff. It was gross. Like a ment menthol? No, it was like a... Weird herb stuff. Where's the, you uh, smell like weird herbs and a nice little pool for our piggies. All this pumpkin? We're even taking the pumpkins so that the chickens can eat them. Yeah, I just cut them in pieces. So. Oh, you can put that in there. They'll eat the whole thing right out of it. Yeah, they'll eat it all. Yep. Hopefully, we don't open the. Oh, this isn't open on the way home. And oh, all the, what, all the really? squash falls out. <laughs> open what all the way out? It's never opened on the way home. Kidding. Don't you know that you're beautiful?